behind here. Need to really pick up the pace. way behind now, really need to pick up the pace. make a difference anyways. It, it's something else to see someone so focused and so in the zone like that. If you want to see what a true champion looks like, then focus all of your attention on this guy. Just missed that door. Missed that door. Oh, narrowly missed that gate. Ah! It doesn't really matter now.
every single time. And this guy steps up, I get goosebumps. He is so technical, so skilled, and so in control of everything out there. I really do feel we are looking at a future Olympic champion. Going for the court. That would have been so smooth that that landing hadn't been botched. Switch to front flip. Straight into the down flat down. 360, landing stomp. Nice. chance to grab big air and go for something special. Going big into the urban ramp, nailing the 360 easily there. The landing was nice and clean as well. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. Nice clean grab during that 900. into a big 720. Into the 360 with a stop, just going down at the end. Coming real quick to the down flat down rail, nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was nice. Hide off the jump, let's see it put to good use. Could have been so much better with a crab thrown in. Into the cannon rail. Nailing that 720 and bringing it down to earth with real skill. And into the flat down flat rail. Gargantuan 1080 with one a giant triple cork put down on the deck with absolute skill. Switch to cork 540. Nail that gargantuan 1080 and the landing. Now that's how it's done. Stomping that huge 14 and landing it perfectly on the power. Nice, great height coming out of that jump. So let's see it used right. Unbelievable! Look at the height coming off that Look at that! Have you ever seen a run like this before? Amazing! 360, landing stomp, nice. Front flip, stomping that landing at the end. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. And into the 540 with style. Straight into the nose press. Showing the others how it's done with a super clean 540 and a smooth landing. A perfect grab and a massive 12. Oh, now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. Ooh, so unlucky. Hopefully that won't hurt the score too much at the end. A front flip, nice and clean with a very smooth landing. Nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. Switch to cork with a clean landing. 
rodeo, stomping that landing with plenty of style. Dropping a grab into that front flip, just what the judges want. A big 540, perfectly done. Switch to front flip. That would have been so smooth if that landing hadn't been botched. Going down at the end. Not a lot of time to pull a trick out of the bag with that weak jump. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. Heading into the frame rail. Into the 360 with a smooth plant. Nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. Ah. Dropping the grab into the 1080. <laughs> Dropping into that next feature. Down, flat down, and a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. Dropping into the flat down, flat rail. Locking in the grab tightly during the backflip. Clamping down hard with the grab during the huge, huge 1080. Nice. Going small with that, that would have been so smooth that the landing hadn't been botched. Locked on grab on that double rodeo. Going for the grab during that 900. Look at the hold time on that grab coming out of the 720. A clean backflip, but the judges will want to see something bigger for the next trick for sure. 360, landing stomp, nice. Plenty of air coming out of that jump, but will it be used? Throwing in a tight grab on that 720. A huge 720 perfectly nailed. that won't hurt the score too much at the end. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. Nailed oh. Now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. Stomping that 50-50. Slide. Front flip with a grab. Oh, just going down at the end. The judges want to see grabs during the tricks, and that's exactly what they got at the end of that backflip. Nailing that double backflip with a grab. Straight into the nose press. Nice switch up to the rodeo and nailing the landing at the end. The backflip with a tight grab. Good light off the jump. Let's see it put to ah. wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. Into the 360 with a smooth landing. 
holding on to the grab during that 360. Straight into the nose press, locking in the grab during the front flip. And nail the flat rail. Oh! Now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. I'd expect to see more than a backflip for the next one. This is the Olympics, after all. Ooh. That would have been so smooth that the... It's something else to see. It's someone so focused and so in the zone like that. If you want to see what a true champion looks like, then focus all of your attention on this one. Man, have you ever seen a run like this? We are watching history unfold here. That was an insane jump. Let's see if the fit a dizzy quad rodeo with a flawless breath. Wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. Oh, boosting huge air. Oh. Now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. Now that is a huge amount of G's coming to that kicker. That was a nasty fall. Not sure you can come back from that. Just pulling some big G's on the bottom. Sweet grab during that smooth double rodeo. Nice. Very nice. control of everything out there, I really do feel we are looking at a future Olympic champion. It, it's something else to see someone so focused and so in the zone like that. If you want to see what a true champion looks like, then focus all of your attention on this one. Locking in the grab tightly during the backflip. And into the flat down flat rail. Nailing that 540 and bringing it down onto the powder with ease. So 
showing the others how it's done with a super clean 540 and a smooth landing. A ridiculous double backflip with a grab. Not a lot of air coming off that jump. Decent air with that jump. Time to follow up. Just going down at the end. Dropping into that next feature. Switch to court, 540. Nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. Nice clean backflip, but I'd expect more from the next trick. You know, I didn't see a grab there, and I'm betting the judges caught that too. Double cork with a stylish grab, showing everyone out here how it's done with a Super 720 and a landing. Oh! We felt that one all the way up here in the booth. I'm sure the judges did too. Straight into the down, flat down. Tail press, nice, very nice. Laying down a clean 50-50. Nice, great height coming out of that jump, so let's see it use right. Textbook back foot execution. Rodeo with a tight grab. Dropping a grab into that front flip just what the judges want. The judges look for variety in a run, and we're not seeing that here. Coming in hot into the kicker. Quadruple rodeo with a sick grab. Plenty of air coming out of that jump, but Willoughby wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. Rodeo with a grab at the end. Switch to court, 540. 360 with a very clean grab. The judges will deduct points for lack of a grab on that. So unlucky. Hopefully that won't hurt the score too much at the end. Ah! Just going down at the end. Now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. Nailing that 720 and bringing it down to earth with real skill. Breaking out the grab and holding on at the end with that smooth 540. Nailing the grab, coming out of that backflip. Really spicing up that rodeo with a clean grab right at the end. Locking in the grab to that big double tame dog. Unbelievable! Look at the height coming off that style on display with a triple backflip and ultra tight grab. Oh man, have you ever seen a run like this? We are watching history unfold here. A big quad rodeo with a grab. That was ridiculous. Oh, taking some huge risk here with those massive tricks, but every one of them is paying off big dividends. And into the nose press. Tacking on a grab to that 1080. Wow, latching on hard with the grab, coming out of that huge 900. Lots of variety from the trick bag on show here. The double backflip with a grab. Nicely into the 540. Backflip with a perfect grab. A jaw-dropping triple rodeo with a grab. Now that is a huge amount of G's coming from that kicker. A head-spinning quad rodeo with a grab. 
A tricked out triple backflip with a tight grab. Front flip stomping that lane in the end. And that's what I call a good day's work. Are, are you kidding me? That was just gigantic. I feel like right now, as of that performance, we have stepped up to the next level. He has a very clear message to the other competitors out there. He means serious, serious business. Stomping that 50-50. Nailing the grab coming out of that 720. 360, landing stomp, nice. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. Stomping the double backflip with a grab and piling on those points. Blowing everyone out of the water with a triple backflip and grab. Good air coming off that jump. Let's hope we see a stylish trick. Backflip with a tight grab. A dizzy triple cork with a grab. So in the zone, this is simply unbelievable to watch. Double Romeo with the grab. Into the 360 with a smooth land. Nailing the 360 easily there. The landing is nice and clean as well. during that massive double court. With a jump that small, you just don't have a lot of time to pull a big trick. Pass into the 720. Piecing the run together with a very clear... That would have been so smooth that the landing hadn't been botched. A huge 720 perfectly nailed. And into a big 720. A beautifully... I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. Landing stomp, nice. Nicely jazzing up that cork with a grab at the end. Oh, now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. And into the urban race. Rodeo with a grab. Rodeo with a tight grab. Into the flat rail. The judges want to see grabs during the tricks, and that's exactly what they got at the end of that backflip. A ridiculous double backflip with a grab. That would have been so smooth that the landing hadn't been botched. Straight into the rodeo with the grab of choice, the method, thrown in for some extra points. Nailing the tail slide like it was nothing. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. And into the 540 with style. Absolutely killed that nine. And the landing, amazing. Locking in the grab tightly during the backflip. Nailing that 720 and bringing it down to earth with real skill. Just pulling some big G's on the bottom. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. A huge 900 with a perfect landing. Nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. Ah! So unlucky. Hopefully that won't hurt the score too much at the end. Nice clean grab during that 900. Oh, 
so unlucky. I think we're going to see some big points deducted for that fall. Switch to court, 540. Cork 720, nice. Oh, just going down at the end. Dropping into that next feature. Stomping that 50-50. A perfect double rodeo and landing. Nailing the grab, coming out of that backflip. Really, again? We're seeing a lot of repetition during this run, which is not good at this level. Showing the others how it's done with a super clean 540 and a smooth landing. Nailing that 540 and bringing it down onto the powder with ease. Oh man, have you ever seen a run like this? We are watching history unfold here. Quadruple Rodeo with a sick grab. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. A clean backflip, but the judges will want to see something bigger for the next trick for sure. Into the double rodeo and dropping it on the deck with zero problems. A huge 720 perfectly nailed. Rodeo 540. Nice, great height coming out of that jump, so let's see it used right. And into a big double backflip. Total control here. Quadruple rodeo and a perfect grab. Plenty of air coming out of that jump, but will it coming out big with that triple tame dog and silky smooth landing. Burning through tricks like it was nothing. This run is a master class. Going big into the urban rail. A big 540, perfectly done. Switch to cork, 540. Into the 720. I'd expect to see more than a backflip for the next one. This is the Olympics after all. Double rodeo with a perfect grab. So focused, so in the zone, this is simply unbelievable to watch. Nicely into the 540. Cork with a tight grab. Now that would have been so smooth that that landing hadn't been botched. Backflip with a tight grab. Backflip with a perfect grab. Nailing the grab coming out of that backflip. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. Nailing that double back is so unlucky. Hopefully that won't hurt the score too much at the end. Oh, just going down at the end. Stylishly hitting that cannon rail. 360, landing stomped, nice. Wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. Nice clean backflip, but I'd expect more from the next trick. And right into the tail press. Nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. Decent air with that jump. Time to follow up with a meaty trick. Perfect grab during that head spinning double rodeo. Locking in the grab tightly during the backflip. Straight into the tame dog. Plenty of versatility on show here now. Oh, what a shame! Couldn't get the landing gear down. The judges are gonna dock some big points for that. 
and into the Tame Dog. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. Switch to Cork 540. Laying down a clean 50-50. run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. Oh. That would have been so smooth that the landing hadn't been botched. Coming in big into the next feature. Backflip with a perfect grab. So unlucky. Hopefully that won't hurt the score too much at the end. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. Straight into the down, flat down. Into the 360 with a smooth landing. Stopping the double backflip with a grab and piling on those points. Torque with a grab. Locked on grab on that double rodeo. Double cork with a perfect grab. And straight into the nose press. Lots of variety from the trick bag on show here. The double backflip with a grab. Oh. Now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. And into the 540 with style. Nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. A clean backflip, but the judges will want to see something bigger for the next trick for sure. the down flat down rail and a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown knocking it out of the park with that big super controlled nine oh, just going down at the end killed that double rodeo going for the court nice and very very clean so smooth that the landing hadn't been botched. Into the 360 with a smooth landing. And into an insane triple cork, really stomped it all the way. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. Oh man, have you ever seen a run like this? We are watching history unfold here. Cork 720, nice. Coming into the next feature. A big, big double backflip with a grab. Backflip with a tight grab. Landing at 360 with a tight grab. like this before. Amazing! Double Romeo with a grab. Clean grab during that buttery smooth double cork. Very nice. Blowing everyone away with that triple cork and vice-like grab. Huge 
risk here with those massive tricks, but every one of them is paying off big dividends. Stomping the double backflip with a grab and piling on those points. A front flip, nice and clean with a very smooth landing. On to the left wall. On to the left wall. Huge triple backflip with a grab. So focused, so in the zone. This is simply unbelievable. Look at that. And onto the right wall. Triple backflip to method. Piecing this one together perfectly. Oh. Now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. Nailing that 720 and bringing it down to earth with real skill. And onto the right wall. So unlucky. Hopefully that won't hurt the score too much at the end. On to the left wall. A clean grab during that massive double court. Connecting the grab to that 900. A big double court 10. Ah. Wasn't expecting to this land. with a vice-like grab. On to the left wall, dropping the grab into the 1080, clamping that grab down real hard. Latching on hard with the grab, coming out of that huge 900. Going for the grab during that 900. during that silky smooth double tame dog. Very, oh man, have you ever seen a run like this? We are watching history unfold here. On the left wall, nailing that double backflip with a grab. Oh, now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. grab during that huge triple rodeo. Double court with a perfect grab. Style on display with a triple backflip and ultra tight grab. Clean grab during that buttery smooth double court. Very nice. Killed it! This is not the time to relax. You push up, and keep pushing things to the next level. On to the left wall. Stomping the triple rodeo and a grab. On to the left wall. On to the left wall. Double rodeo with a perfect grab. And onto the right wall, Rodeo with a clean grab. So unlucky. Hopefully that one will score too much again. And onto the right wall, holding onto the grab during that 360. Lots of variety from the trick bag on show here. The double backflip with a grab. Oh! We 
we felt that one all the way up here in the booth. I'm sure the two. So focused, so in the zone. This is simply unbelievable to watch. Look at that. Have you ever seen a run like this before? A nice, clean grab during that 900. A perfect grab during that 1080. Look at the hold time on that grab coming out of the 720. like it was nothing. This run is a master class. A ridiculous double backflip with a grab. Into the rodeo and hitting the landing with zero problems. Stomping the double backflip with a grab and piling on those points. 360, landing stomps, nice. This guy has come out here today and basically said to every other competitor, come on, come get me. That was incredible. You know, half pipes go back to the 80s, but they're very tricky things to build and they just weren't very good. So we can thank the late, great Doug Waugh for coming up with the Pipe Dragon. It was basically a modified farm machine that carved transitions out of snow piles. So thank you, Doug. Got it in for me today. I'm still in one piece after that for me. I'm taking much harder hits than that and still kept going. <laughs> Damn it, that one really hurt. Stopping that 50 50, nailing the 360 easily there. And the landing was nice and clean as well. Stomp that gargantuan nine 